New Look Italy started off last week with a defeat at home to England, but there were plenty of positives in that performance. And today I'm going to be looking at the team that I think Italy will select to go to Ireland this coming Sunday in the second game of their Six Nations Championship. Hello, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'm going to be with you throughout the championship and beyond. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. Now, as I said, I think Italy, there were plenty of positives in that performance against England, particularly in the first half, where they cut England apart a couple of times with some really fluent, beautiful backplay. Elko and I did a big in-depth analysis on that. and I'm going to link it up there. So go and check that one out to see what we made of this Italian performance uh, in the England game. Do squad updates ahead of this weekend. The big, big loss is Seb Negri, who's dislocated some rib cartilage, which is kind of ironic because that's the kind of thing he's often does to other people. Hugely physical player will be badly missed by Italy his experience as well as just, you know, his physicality on the pitch. He's been replaced in the squad by Matteo Canali. Leo Marin also comes in, who's a, a fly half. People missing from last week, Iachitzi, who had a shoulder issue. I think he'll probably be fit for this week, although that's yet to be confirmed. And Capuozzo, who had gastroenteritis, should be well for this weekend too. OK, what do I think? Who are Italy going to pick for this massive game away at Ireland, which is probably the toughest game in the championship? These are the players that I think will keep their shirts from last year, uh, last week, excuse me. As I said, I think they played pretty well for long periods, uh, just getting pressured towards in the second half. But Fischetti, Lucchesi, Cecciarelli and Canoni, um, Lamoureux and Canoni in the back row at number eight. Just question marks over, well, six was Negri, so he's certainly not going to be playing. And five, the lineup really struggled in the first half. Roots is there, 50 caps, hugely experienced. I just wonder whether they'll think about potentially swapping him, in, him out. Um, Zambonin is a, is a real lineup specialist who they had on the bench last week. Possible, but I don't think so. I think. Um, I think they'll go with the experience because Ireland are definitely going to come after them at lineup. So no question about that. They really challenged there. And I think Edicor, who came on off the bench last week and looked a real handful, a bit real physical, tall guy. Um, and I think that's who they're going to go with in the forwards. Moving on to the backs now. And again, these are the players I expect to certainly keep their shirts. And this back line. Can thrill. They can really thrill. I mean, the player for me who stood out last week was Menoncello. He's an absolute class actor inside centre. Runs incredible lines. Really physical. Got handling skills as well. He's he's a complete player. Um, also impressed me last week. Tommaso Allen at fullback. I've always thought of him more of a of a kicking, more of a tactical kind of player. But his running, you know, obviously with the try being the the um, pinnacle of that but his running game seems to have really come on as well um and on the right wing panny uh who came into the squad because kapuatsu was ill i think he didn't do anything wrong he looked really pacey he looked really lively but i expect that if it kapuatsu will come back in he is a superstar a genuine superstar and italy don't have many of those so i think if he's fit then he should absolutely play Going on to the bench. And very similar to last week, actually. Uh, just a word for Spagnolo, who made his debut and won a penalty against Dan Cole in his first scrum. Super impressed with that. Well done. I think Giuliani was real good presence off the bench last week as well. Very physical. And I think they're going to go with Panny on the bench. Mori was on the bench last week, but I think they need more cover in the back three rather than through the centres. So I think that's what they'll go with. What do I want to see from this Italian team this week? I want to see them continue with their values, continue to play. You know, they, they're at their best when they're really challenging themselves and therefore the opposition. So I don't want them to go into their shells. I want them to really go at this game and challenge Ireland in every possible way. 
Will they be able to do it? Who knows? We'll find out this weekend. But what do you think? Do you think this is the right Italian team to go and take on Ireland? Do you think it's the team they're going to pick? And do you think they're good enough to go and beat Ireland, who are absolutely one of the very best teams in the world? Let me know in the comments down below and I will join you there for a conversation. Give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind. It helps other people find it and helps me as well, which is great. Uh, and you can subscribe there. You can watch that one next. And don't forget, get out and play.